Saying it's going to take many months to get where we need to be, President Joe Biden made it clear on his first full day in office that ending the coronavirus pandemic is his top priority. Our national plan launches a full-scale wartime effort to address the supply shortages. Biden says those shortages include vaccines, syringes, needles, and personal protective equipment. And when I say wartime, people kind of look at me like wartime. Well, as I said last night, 400,000 Americans have died. To win the fight, the president released this nearly 200-page plan this afternoon. It includes a host of steps the White House plans to take, including enlisting the help of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. To start standing up the first federally supported community vaccination centers with the goal of standing up 100 centers within the next month. We'll also task the Department of Health and Human Services to prepare and expand the pool of medical professionals who can administer the vaccine. One of the president's goals is to move the response out of the political arena. Scientists and public health experts will speak directly to you. We're going to make sure they work free from political interference. The president knows his plan is ambitious and could face opposition, but he's convinced a sense of urgency is needed now more than ever. I know these bold, practical steps will not come cheaply, but failing to do so will cost us so much more dearly. Well, President Biden signed a total of 10 executive orders today aimed at defeating the pandemic. In addition to the steps I just outlined, one order will use the Defense Production Act to expand production of COVID-19 vaccines. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.